Hello, good evening everyone and welcome as third place Ipswich Town prepare to face league leaders Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. Back to James Justin Winks, looks for the forward pass. Travis miscontrols it in midfield and Cannon with a chance to run at Wolferden. Clark in with a sliding challenge and then McAteer has Massimo Luongo lunging at his feet, making the crucial intervention and the ball runs through to Václav Hladky. He's seeing lots of the ball at the moment and that's a heavy touch and he almost allowed Caden Jackson to pounce. Slices one into the air. Travis does well to win the header, loose ball picked up by Mavadidi. Mavadidi into the penalty area, trying to twist away from a couple of orange shirts. Loose ball picked up by Dewsbury Hall. There's the effort from Winks and it's deflected comfortably into the arms of Václav Hladky. Almost opened up there for Steffi Mavadidi. Edmondson is going to come under pressure from McAteer, but he's able to play it back to Václav Hladky. Now McAteer will continue the press. Ladke finds Harness in the field, but Leicester have won it with Dewsbury Hall. Now it's Cannon, and it's a great block from Wolfenden. Out for a corner, but that's important defending from Luke Wolfenden there. Here he is again, in the field to Harry Winks. Winks clips it over to Mavadidi, left-hand side. Now moving inside the Ipswich Town penalty area, twisting and turning, trying to get away from Harry Clark. It's Chowdhury with the effort, and Ladke has to make the save. Diving away to his left-hand side, Hamza Chowdhury, who doesn't score many, testing the Ipswich stopper there. The Ipswich have the ball with George Edmondson, just inside the Leicester half. Now it's with Leif Davis. Davis manipulates the ball well and plays it down the line to Caden Jackson. Jackson holding off James Justin. Davis once more. Trying to race away from McAteer to deliver in towards Harness. Harness leaving it for Jackson. It's Chapman, it's over the bar. Frustration for Connor Chapman. But Ipswich worked it well down this near side. As Fass receives the ball, plays it in field to Harry Winks. Now Mavadidi. Mavadidi with the chance again to break into the Ipswich penalty area. Cuts it back across goal and it's uh, an own goal. Kladke is palmed it onto Leif Davis. I think it's just the one minute that's going to be added on, and that's how it's felt. There's been very little stoppages in this one, as Wes Burns is the furthest forward for Ipswich Town here. Faced up by Vestergaard, he's got Jackson moving to support now. Burns moving in field, and he's going to try and bend one into the top corner, but he can't keep it down. And Hermanson is able to watch the ball fly over his crossbar. The man on loan from Blackburn Rovers. Davis is fouled on that far side by McAteer. Bullet header against Sunderland at Portman Road nine days ago. In it comes from Davis, and again it's towards Chapman, who was diving low at the front post. He didn't make any contact with it. It strikes a Leicester defender out for a corner kick. Appreciation from tonight's skipper for that ball in. In comes the corner towards Justin, and it's headed away by Travis. Dewsbury Hall, Chaplin blocks away. Fladke had that situation under control. He's got Clark calling for it, screaming for it, right-hand side. What a fantastic ball from Hladke to find Clark. Clark racing forward into the penalty area, tries to find the cutback to Sarmiento. You wonder if Clark could have gone alone. And that less that Ipswich promising attack breaks down. Dewsbury Hall delivers in. It's towards Vestergaard, who almost wins the header. Mavadidi, Clarky down well, and then Cannon with the acrobatic effort. Stop diving. Oh. It's Cannon. That's a good save by Vatslav Hladky. He's made a couple of saves tonight away to his left hand side. That's a good hit from the Leicester front man, Tom Cannon. So Ipswich searching that for that equalising goal. Hutchinson, that's lovely work from him. He's away from a couple of Leicester defenders. Loose ball drops for Sarmiento. It's Broadhead and again, Burns is in space to his right-hand side. Another half of that double change saw Keenan Dewsbury Hall replaced by Eunice Akgoon. Here's Harry Clark. He's got him behind him and he tries to play it across towards Sarmiento. There's appeals for handball. 
And comes the corner from this near side again towards Edmondson, who beat Hermanson in the air. And unfortunately, Fritz, which down the ball, just floats over the crossbar. Now it's Akun. Now he's away from Luongo, and he might find McAteer to wrap it up. And Hladke, so quick off his line, diving at the feet of Casey McAteer. Wolfenden has the legs, and the 37-year-old Jamie Vardy plays it back to Václav Hladke. Lovely flick from Hutchinson. Now it's Nathan Broadhead. Davis. Rolls the ball underneath his left foot into Nathan Broadhead. Luongo just outside the D. Goes for goal, it's deflected. It falls for Sarmiento! Jeremy Sarmiento! With his first Ipswich goal! And what a goal it is! Equaliser for Ipswich at the King Power Stadium. Hermanson denied the long range effort from Luongo. It dropped for Jeremy Sarmiento, and the 21 year old was on hand to bury it into the back of the net. Leicester won, Ipswich Town won. According to the referee. And then Josh Smith blows the final whistle. And Ipswich Town moved back into second place in the Skybet Championship. Full time here at the King Power Stadium. It's finished. Ipswich Town 1, Leicester City 1.